And what we're seeing is, instead of the weight-bearing line going through the middle of the knee, in your knee, the weight-bearing line from the middle of your hip to the middle of your ankle has now shifted and is going through this damaged yeah. compartment. The option is to try and correct the alignment and to do what, what, what's been mentioned to you before, which is an osteotomy. And that just means realignment. An osteotomy um, literally means to cut the bone. And what an osteotomy operation does is realign the leg. So the mo by far the most common type of patient who will treat with an osteotomy is somebody who's got what we call a varus leg. So they're slightly bow-legged. Now that may have started, with, they may have been born bow-legged or may not, but over the years they've become bow-legged because of damage and wear within their knee. So what most of these patients have is essentially a, a type of early osteoarthritis, normally of the inner side of the knee. So looking at the model, as I said, the three layers that keep bone away from bone are the cartilage, the cartilage, and the meniscus cartilage. If one loses their meniscus cartilage through injury and or surgery early in life, then rapidly you become slightly bow-legged and this articular cartilage wears, and therefore you become increasingly bow-legged when one stands up on it, and they get pain and arthritis on the inner side of their knee. My knee was really painful before I had the operation. I could barely walk 200 metres before I was um, starting to hobble. A very important factor is age. And there is a very large group of patients in their 30s and 40s who are just too young for us to consider such interventions as limited or complete knee replacements. But they're in pain, their knee doesn't work, either because it's painful with arthritis and or it's unstable because of ligament damage. And what we used to do is be able to offer these patients really nothing. And we used to kind of be able to just say, look, you're too young, you're 38, you've got early arthritis, go away and come back when you're old enough for a knee replacement, which we now have these different options. We're getting significantly more patients presenting to us at a relatively young age with the first early symptoms of arthritis. And we're then left in a quandary. Do we do a knee replacement on them at an earlier age than any of us would like. Knee replacements are great, they work well. The patient never feels they've got a normal knee, but they do have a knee that's much more comfortable. But your knee will wear out. And unfortunately, the younger you are when you have a knee replacement, the more likely you are to use it, because you're young, fit and active, the more likely you are to wear it out. A redo knee replacement is perfectly possible, but is a much bigger operation and takes much longer to recover, and the results are never as good. And what we need to do is to straighten up the, the leg and try and move that weight-bearing line to, the, to, to load up where we know you've got normal cartilage. So what it will involve is a little cut on the inside of your thigh bone, just there. We go in, we're going to take out about a seven degree little wedge of bone, close the wedge up, um, and put a plate and some screws on the inside to hold it all together. Okay. There will be no plasters afterwards, all right? no stitches that need coming out, it's all done with dissolving stitches. You'll just have a big bulky bandage on your leg and the metal that's inside, which you won't see or feel, but yes, might beep when you go through the end. <laughs> so my operation was in December, but by July, I was out hiking in the Alps and quite the thing and celebrating the fact that I had no pain and um, um, bouncing about.